channel it's your girl take away oh i know i've been gone for like a month now there's a good reason for that i promise but we were gonna be talking about where i've been what i've been up to what to expect from my upcoming channel and we're gonna be doing makeup in alphabetical order because i was like i don't want to come back and i'm just like doing like shoot a video random it's like hold up hold up wait a minute where you been sis where you been so, so i was like you know what i need to do an interesting video that's not just like oh let's do makeup or something i felt like that was like the best way to like really chat more when you're doing your makeup and then you just like chill so that's why um we're gonna be doing makeup this makeup challenge so pray for me it's not gonna be easy but you can have ways to cheat and ways not to cheat so i'm just gonna go through um my whole makeup routine and then i'm gonna put it in alphabetical order and with i actually like wrote down my list because that's how like you can forget something because when you're doing out of order you can forget an important step thinking you're done so when i wrote my list down i wrote it on my other phone and i also shout out to like um Nikki tutorials because she was the one I saw this challenge on. I was like, you know, that would be a good way to come back. And then my viewers can be like, what the heck is she doing? So technically, the first thing I should apply to my face is my blush. So I was just like, you know, I don't really have powder blush. And I remember I did the review on the Fenty um, cream bl blushes. So I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty cream blush. And this one is in the shade Cheeks Out. This is so, like weird but cool see i have the blushes the blushes i have the blush on my face and honestly i feel like i'm looking like one of those african aunties like this looks so weird in a way i'm kind of like nervous to be back because i'm just like it's been like a month of recording myself and i'm just like so chill like <sighs> but we'll get to that in a minute so the next thing on my list is my bronzer and i'm gonna be using my fenty cream blunt bronzer again and i'm gonna go in with the shade chocolate i'm gonna just put this like where my contour would be so now let's talk about where have i been and if i'm looking down you guys should know by now that i got a mirror down here so i'm not crazy i'm just trying to make sure yeah this looks like a bruise this is why me and blushes we have a hate love and hate relationship i'm not just i feel like apply, after i apply the blush it the blushes i know i keep saying that it's late in, in the night I don't know it's just like two something in the morning so after i applied the looks like i was gonna say the bruise i can't talk right now like whew. after i applied my blush i applied the bronzer next and like the blush and the bronzer next to each other this is what i hate sometimes it's like it looks like a bruise it doesn't even look like attractive but yeah back to where i've been I've been dealing with like school stuff, like, cause you know your girl, you graduated, you got her bachelor's, trying to go for her master's before she goes to medical school. So like, I've been trying to like go through that whole um, applying for school process and like trying to see where I can get into and get this show on the road because somehow, some way, I'm gonna become a doctor. I don't know when, but I'm trusting God's timing and God's timing is the best. So that like stress, like I just had a lot going on like with the program I applied for, I didn't really get into the, no, I didn't really, I didn't get into the program. So like I was looking for other programs to do. So that was really stressful and like depressing because it's like, I was sure, I was so sure I was a good candidate for the program, but I didn't get in. So it's like that little like reality sets and it's like, okay, now you were trying to do this program. That didn't work. What are your plan B's? How to go to plan B? So that was one of the things that was like kind of stressing me out. So I was just like, I need to just take like social media breaks. I was not even on Instagram. Like I I, did, I couldn't even get myself to open Instagram. That was how bad it was. It was like, I was just mentally not in that space. I just need to just like, I can go on WhatsApp. I got, I got fun on TikTok, which it's really weird. So next thing on my list is going to be concealer. And y'all know I love my Fenty um, trio stick. So I'm going to be going next with this step. This, this challenge in a way, it kind of teaches you like, um, you, about your routine like you know sometimes like we're set in our ways like i'm gonna i must do my foundation or i must do my eyeshadow before i do my foundation do my brows before i do anything else on my face but it's like this um challenge gonna show you like it kind of way it kind of teaches you like are there other techniques you're missing that you don't even know that you're missing them and you can see can i work around my technique so i mean some things in this alphabetical order just don't make no sense but that's how it's spelled so we just gotta do it like that matchstick in a shade um suede 
the first program I applied for didn't click. So that like, it just like shut me down in a way. Like I was just so sad and like I was still in school at the time. So I didn't get to like ha let myself like really like be mad or sad about it. It was after school hit. It's like, oh my God, like there's two more months in the summer, which is now coming to an end. And I need to figure out what my next um, phase will be. So that was making me like really nervous because it's like I didn't want another year to go by and I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just sitting at home and I'm doing nothing because that will bother me. Because I feel like even if it's going to be a long process to get into medical school, I mean, it shouldn't be, but it's like, or like basically, I should, I should, say, it, I should say it this way. Even though it might be like, it's uncertain when I can get in, only y'all knows. I don't want it to be a situation where I am wasting the few like the time I have and it's like seeing that it's so last minute in this pandemic oh baby don't get me started so with this whole pandemic I wanted to do something where even if I'm going to a school I can do it online and not really like need to move to a different state so last minute because it's like if I knew that I was going to go somewhere else for school I could have like saved better or something like because I already made my plans like let's not talk about that auto program I didn't get into. But basically, like, I was so assured that that was going to be my program and ended up not being my program. So now I was now in, like, oh, my God, I panic mode. I need to, like, figure out the next thing I'm going to do. I also wanted, another thing I wanted to point out with this concealer, it's, like, I just love, like, sometimes you don't really see some things until, like, it's just bare on your skin. So, like, usually if I have done my foundation before I want to highlight and contour, this would look it would still be showing, but my foundation would like give it a perfect blend. So like just seeing it without the foundation on my skin, I love the way it looks. So it's still a plus and it's still a win for me. So um, like I was saying, I needed to find ways to step up my game and get my school stuff going because that was really depressing. Like I'm not gonna lie, like I might like not have talked about it to everybody, but it's like people that talk to me or call me over, they know I was bawling my eyes. I was sad because I really, 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 really wanted that program to click. Cause I, I just, yeah, I just wanted the program to click, but it didn't. So I just knew that, okay, it's not for me because if it was for me, I would not be crying over it, you know? So that then clicked. So I started like going into like, not panic mode. I called on my friends that have like been through some something like a similar, phase in their life and they like gave me advice on like finding other programs to do so I found programs to do and I was applying for those programs but at the same time I was like that thought of like will I even get in like it's just like a lot of negative I was just in a negative frame of thought and then like that was not enough I lost the loved one like the beginning like in July all this was happening from like this started happening in April I know I was still active on April but it's like I wasn't as active as I wanted to because like my mind my, my mind was not there so April came around I mean, July came around and then I was just trying to figure out my school stuff and then I lost a loved one and I was just like, it was so unexpected and the way she passed was so sad. So I was just like, ugh, can't deal with this. Like, this is supposed to be hot girl summer in this pandemic and it's not no hot girl summer. It was a crying girl summer for me. So I was kind of like upset about that. Actually, with all my concealer blended, like actually my skin looks so different. I feel like I can just go, I can, I can be one of those who just pull, pulls off the look with just a concealer because baby, I like what I see, but I feel like I just make this bruise even more like whew, it's popping more so next the, on the abc list we're in concealer i mean we've done concealers so now we're going to go into contour and i'm going to go in with the same fenty matchstick and this is in the shade espresso my loved one passed away in july in the most tragic and sad way so i was mourning that and that it was my birthday month so it's like i was trying to be happy because my birthday month because like why not like the month a month that adds another year to my life. Oh God, this looks like a hot mess. You don't even know what you're missing without your foundation. So it's right here, it's a hot mess. Everybody pay attention because this right here is not how we do makeup. Hey, we do makeup. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Um, I was, I was like still mourning her and then it's like, I'm still trying to like think, I'm thinking about my, I'm always thinking about my YouTube. I'm like, oh my God, Ashley, you haven't been on YouTube for like a month. That does not look good. It's not a good idea because you want to grow and we're not growing if you're not being consistent, let's be honest. But at the same time, I needed to let myself just like grieve and heal and like being a mental space where I'm ready to come back. So when I kept, when I felt like I was ready to come back, it's either I was like nervous 
or like shy because I mean you can just come I just feel like if you have like channel if you have, I can't talk <laughs> if you have a channel and you have consistent viewers thankful thank which I'm thankful for and friends supporting Jerry and my kids like girl we gonna drop a video we gonna drop a video and it's like I want to drop a video but I don't want my video just be like I go away for like a month and I just show back up like here's a makeup tutorial here's a hair tutorial here's like a beauty or studio setup or like some tech technical stuff I just feel like you sometimes you need to explain because these people are also investing in you by subscribing so you can't just come out and be like hello like where you been in a way I think I'm like blending the contour into my skin so it's like kind of hiding the blush but not really this is a hot mess because it's a hot mess so next we're going to eat and this is like um eyebrows so you see we were in the eye category so when you're in the eye guide category there's so much things you can do so we have eyebrows we feel like eyelash or eyeshadow so for my eyebrows I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow gel and this is in the what I say I don't know I'm so used to saying in the shade is not is not really is that a shade? okay this is a clear brow gel from Anastasia I was morning my loved one and that also took a toll on like me coming back to YouTube because it's like even though like I was celebrating my birthday I still in a way like just wanted to just take the whole month of July just to myself because if there was no pandemic honestly I would have traveled somewhere I would have gone to do some things so I'm just like you know what this whole year I feel like everything's happening for a reason yes we don't know the reason it sucks because a lot of crazy things is happening but at the same time it's like it kind of gives us a way where we could just like stop and think for a moment. It's like, what am I doing? What's going on? So that was rough. And then come August, I'm like, you know what, August, I'm gonna come and bang da da da. I come through like bang da da da. Bang da 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 da. And then I lost another one. So I'm just like, I can't I'm fighting for my life. I can't catch a break. I can't catch a break. Like, I'm trying to come back. I'm trying to get my mental health ready. But it's like this just shows you how life is like. Life is short, it's unpredictable. You just need to just enjoy the moment and be grateful that you're alive and thankful and thankful for everybody that you love and appreciate in your life because baby, and just like that, people are gone. And just like that, things can go wrong. And just like that, like you're going from the most happiest mood you're in to like the worst mood you're in. So it's just like, it was just so much to handle. Like school was stressing me out, losing a loved one. And it's like, I'm not on YouTube, so that's bothering me. My mental health is just like, I was just like, baby uh -huh. which is interesting just thank god because baby it was uh it was a struggle in the streets okay okay baby my brow coming out good on camera because sometimes 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 my brows have been done they're carved to my satisfaction for now so the next thing on my list from alphabetical order is eyelashes my hands ashy basically i'm going in with saloon perfect go glam multiple lashes and this is number 615. I get this somewhere all the time. These lashes are so hard to see. I feel like when you're going for an easy look or like you don't know what you're going for, this helps to transform your makeup if you're going for something because it's just wispy, it just shoots up. I'm gonna use something that's light because maybe there's no way in heck I'm gonna waste my good lashes and have eyeshadow all on it. Cause you know lashes, they always wanna have eyeshadow all on them. So anywho, we're gonna be applying. So these lashes, I like them because they're so light and like they just, they get tacky fast. So I'm gonna just apply it right on there. So the goal, I don't know if I've done the eyelash tutorial. Yes, I have. I really remember, you wanna put it directly under so it stands up and it gives you that effect like, ooh. Cause you put it directly down, you're not giving it that. Then you have to curl it up. Sometimes it might not curl as nice as like you just pressed it up like this. I don't know what I'm trying, I'm doing a challenge. I always try to teach something. Like y'all, she appreciate your girl. This step is so tedious. <laughs> it's an uncompleted look, but <laughs> lashes, don't see your lashes, baby. I just about this lashes because <laughs> the next thing is eyeliner. Yeah, eyeliner. I just make sure because I don't be going above or the wrong letter and be like, hey, she, does she know her alphabet? So I'm gonna be going in with my Morphe um, gel eyeliner. This is like a micro eyeliner. It's in the shade Slate. 
I don't know if they still make this or discontinue because sometimes once they be tweaking, they can discontinue things that are actually make it work and i'm not gonna do a wing because i don't know what i should look i'm going for so doing a wing is not gonna help me so i'm gonna just like do the short um um what you call it eyeliner there's no wing it's just there i just told myself like in life you're gonna have unexpected situations like popping off so it's like you just it's just like i need to learn how to balance that but at the same time like still let myself heal from whatever is happening let myself like be ready before i force myself to come back on so that was why i was like i want to come back onto youtube so much at the time when everything was going on but mentally i was just trying to space like i was just like okay not being on youtube for a while like, i just needed that break you know so i feel like i feel like i'm in a better space like i mean everything is not situated like things are still not where I want them to be, but at the end of the day, I am content with where I'm at, and I'm just like, God's plan for me will always come through, regardless of my plans. So even if like I want to go to school, I don't want to let this year go by. I'm not in school. Maybe God has a different plan. Maybe He wants me to wait until next year. So maybe He wants me to do something before I go back to school. So at this point, I'm not even stressing. I'm just taking it one day at a time, and. This is actually a look. But I'm using gel, so I used a pencil. Hand. Hand. Next thing up on the list is eyeshadow. Eh? We worked our way to my favorite part. We worked our way to my favorite part. Eyeshadow, I do my eyeshadow base on my eyes. And I have eyeshadow primer. Eyeshadow base, eyeshadow primer. I mean, I don't really need the two. Because it wouldn't make sense to put the base. And then go and put a primer. Usually you prime, then put a base. But we can also try and see if we. I mean, this whole the whole point of the channel is just to try and see new things and see what works and what doesn't work. So let's leave her to put. Let's go for it. Let's put my eyeshadow. My eyeshadow base before my primer. Even though it's meant to be primer before the base. <sighs> my all-time favorite eyeshadow base is my uh, Mac Pink Pop. This is the Soft Butcher. Y'all see this on my channel too long. So everything I've just done with this eyeliner is basically useless because, yeah. Giving me some black muddiness. Next, I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow primer, which is the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion, the original one. Cause we only do original stuff over here, baby. You stay original. The thing with primer is that it's like almost like a lock, like a sealant for me. I feel like it just holds everything in place. Like you're not going nowhere, I'm attached to you for life. So I don't know what it's gonna hold on to now. Maybe the eyeshadow, would it be easier to blend with this? I don't know. Cause that primer gets like, you need to blend it in quick. If not, it's gonna get like stronger, like tacky. I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow palette from Judy's Place, The Warrior. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with this neutral uh, shade. It's in the name Kano. Cause I need to make sure, I don't know what look I'm going for yet. So I need to just blend this in. But I've come to accept the fate that God's time is the best and there's nothing I can do about that. Even if all my friends who are going through the same struggle before me or with me, same time as me, end up figuring out their fades in life and I haven't figured mine out yet. It's their season, it's their time, it's just not my time. And I've accepted that. I think that's another reason why I was like willing to come on YouTube. I'm just like, you know what? Stressing, worrying, overthinking will not do anything. It won't change. I, at the time, it's good to like let yourself feel what you're feeling and like be sad about it, move on from it, but don't let it get you down. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Oh. And the shade I'm going in with is um, Major Inspo from the Sweetie slash Morphe palette. Cause baby, now that I'm back, I promise to stay back. I mean. There might be like times like I need to like just have a break, focus on me, but it will not be as long as this, I promise. There. <laughs> Everything is not going the way I wanted it to go. My glitter liner from NYX Cosmetics, and this is the gold shade, just to line the top of my crease, because I don't like the way this eyeshadow is coming out, but we gotta keep going, baby. I'm gonna go in with my foundation. And the foundation I'm gonna go in with is my Juvia's Place foundation in the shade Lagos. And I also like to add my little glow to it. So this is gonna go 
together because FG, FG, foundation um, glue. But that's kind of cheating. But yeah, this is the only thing I cheated with. So I'm gonna just apply the foundation everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, okay. Basically, I'm gonna just do this like how I would have done my, um, what do they call that thing? If I was setting under my contour, I'm gonna focus on my neck too. T Cognac Candy Highlighter. I love these still. The one good thing about applying foundation and I'm gonna apply my highlighter is that the foundation is still somewhat sticky on my face. So it's gonna like attack like the, what should you call it? The highlighter is gonna like pop on it. This one is not popping as much as I want to. When you do smile, and you angle your face, it's like, ooh, it's like that. It's like there's sunlight just right there on your cheeks. Even if you're in a bad mood, you gotta fake it. Fake it, fake it, fake it till you. Next, I have lip. So we have lip gloss, we have lip pencil, and we have lipstick. So, we gotta apply the gloss and then apply the lipstick. So, I'm gonna go in with my Diamond Milk from Fenty. It's my gloss bond because you can never go wrong with this. It's a little like on the diamond side. <laughs> Is it called diamond milk? Yeah. I'm gonna say it looks a little bit milky. So I'm just gonna go over my eyebrow pencil. And I didn't talk about the eyebrow pencil I used when I did my eyebrow. It's just like my regular David's pencil from Nigeria. You can get this, like, you can get other ones, but it's like this is the one I always get this from Nigeria, even if I run out. There are other eyebrow pencils and other ways to do eyebrows in America good product but this is like the og of the og that has never filled us and our ancestors even our aunties our mothers used it so i stick to what i know works and it doesn't need to be changed people can use other things but i know this works for me so i'm gonna stick to it so i'm just gonna line my lips when you try to line your lips after putting in gloss it can be so irritating sometimes it's like how do i put this it's like when you go on a slip and slide and your goal is to not slip, it's like, why were you there? I can I can see look. My lipstick, I'm gonna go with Unbuttoned by Fenty. It's one of their like their mattifying things. It's like the collection of these. They look like um nail polishes to me because like my mom used to have this nail polish that was like red and it had this long handle. And I was like, I don't know if it's still like a term, I forgot the name, but that was like the main um nail polishes back then if you remember your parents use it let me know in the comment section because it would be red like this literally and this this hand sort of it being like mirror effect kind of it'll be like white i forgot what nail polish what company that was but that was like the main nail polish people used to use back then my mom had that so whenever i saw friends to bring out this like lipstick i was just like that's the whole nail polish because that's how i still see it that's how i remember it this one is like really, really light. So I gotta apply a light on my lip. I'm not going with like a hot mask. I feel doing the lips in alphabetical order doesn't really matter as much. It's just annoying. Cause you gotta go back and blend. If not, I don't see a problem. I'm trying this technique more often because I like the way it came out. If I want to do all gloss, you know, apply more gloss, but I'm not going to do all gloss because I don't want to do that. You know what I got time for it. Oh, my favorite part, tap on mascara. Because baby, I'm about to undo everything this eyelash has gone through. We're going to undo it, okay? Okay. They always, this is the one that I, I, I don't think, like, you can go without doing this. Like, you always want to apply mascara to your lashes before you apply your lashes because I'm fortunate enough that the, the fallout happened on the lashes. Imagine, if like something happened where the alphabet was messed up and then you had to do the eyeshadow but you didn't put lashes on first and then all the while was on your under eye then you apply your lashes because i hate when people do that and then they look up it's like when you wear your lashes and you're looking straight it's not as obvious but when you do those kind of like selfies and you look up and it's like baby we can see the eyeshadow fall out on your lashes you need to fix that you heard me i used these lashes you can get them at walmart or online, if you want to go to the website for Salon Perfect. Now we put on powder. What are we about putting powder on? We already put powder. They try me. And per usual, you know what powder we're going to be using today? It's going to be the L'Oreal True Match powder. And it's going to be 6-6 True Match. So we're going to use this powder. 
concealing and using powder. Look here, I thought I'm going to be doing more of um, using my foundation to reverse contour instead of the powder. The powder does the work, but I feel like I like the way the foundation brought out. Like, the foundation is making my contour pop more. What do you guys think? I'm going to fix the nose off camera. Wait, you guys already know. So now I'm going in with my powder just to set in that contour. I mean, I feel like you can never go wrong with powder on your foundation part because there's also powder foundation. If I wanted to use that, I could have used that. So I'm not really that pressed. Press, 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 press. Cut it down me, oh, press. I'm not that pressed about putting on powder after my foundation. Girl, I look, you don't see me. You see me? Did she see you? I almost have to TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. I'm sorry, you think what I'm thinking? Like, we used to do highlight before. We will now put the powder on top of the highlight to set the highlight so that it will not make us look cakey. I didn't cake one bit. Cake, 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 cake. It's my birthday cake. Okay, so yeah, I didn't cake one bit, but I just put on foundation on top of my highlighter and my contour. And um, nothing was affected. And I now use my face powder. So why do we highlight in. Okay, I guess when you're highlighting and contouring, I have a conversation where you're like, you're here talking to me. But I guess when you highlight and contour, if you're doing it the natural, traditional way, you want to make that place pop more. So that we do use those powders. And just like, in a way, it's not needed. If you want to just do the, do the foundation this way, I mean, you have to know that I do know. Don't go do rubbish. This is a challenge. It's a challenge. Next thing that I don't like, but we gotta do it, it's primer. Because now we've left powder, we're going to primer. Like who primes after like um, doing all this B? So I'm gonna go in with my Fenty primer because it smells so good. I'm gonna just use just a little bit because we don't need <laughs> we don't need that much primer, right? Like you know, less is more. So I'm gonna just rub this in and just like slap it onto my face. It's undoing everything. I finally got to the last step of the day. And that is setting spray. I can set all the rubbish I have done and the good things I have done together. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills, Beverly Hills Dewy Setting Spray. We all said it so much on before that I'm gonna, like, you know, can protect the eyes. Who's that? Who there? Who she? I love when I apply setting spray, baby, because it's like, I see a little patchiness up, like, I see a little bit of patchy, but it's that primer. I will use the highlights to cover it. So I'm gonna go in with this setting spray. 